Welcome to Box Hill Institute. My name is Janine Johnson and I'm the Program Coordinator for the Early Childhood and Education Support Programs at Box Hill Institute. The following presentation will provide you with an overview of our Certificate 3 in Early Childhood Education and Care Partial Completion Program that we delivered to our VET delivered to secondary school students. I'd like to start the presentation with an acknowledgement of country. Box Hill Institute acknowledges that our learning sites are situated on the ancestral lands of the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation. We pay our respects to the traditional custodians and extend that respect to their elders past, present and emerging. The following information will provide you with an overview of our Certificate 3 in Early Childhood Education and Care Partial Completion that we deliver to secondary school students. It is a great way to launch a career in early childhood education and care by starting during your year 11 and 12 programs. This program will provide you with the opportunity to learn from experienced and supportive teachers, including work placement opportunities with children aged birth through to six years. It's an amazing opportunity to engage and interact with children and provide students with an opportunity to not only develop skills and knowledge, but to also develop confidence in these areas to set you up for success when providing education and care to children. Throughout the program, you'll gain the following skills and knowledge. You'll develop an understanding of the early childhood sector. You'll, be, you'll learn how to provide children with opportunities to maximize their potential and develop a foundation for lifelong learning. You'll be able to understand and comply with legislation and regulatory requirements. You'll learn to promote inclusive environments and relationships respecting the diversity of children, families, colleagues, and the community. And you'll also learn how to provide first aid in an education and care setting. The partial completion in the Certificate 3 of Early Childhood Education and Care sees students undertaking four units of competency in Year 1, which is generally in Year 11, and Year 2, which is in generally in Year 12. At the conclusion of the partial completion program, students can continue on with the qualification and, can, and complete the, the additional nine units in order to complete all 17 units that are required for the full qualification. The Certificate 3 of Early Childhood Education and Care, the full qualification, is the prerequisite requirement for enrolment into the Diploma of Early Childhood Education and Care. So students starting as a, as a vet in school student have a great head start in their career moving towards being an early childhood educator and working in the early childhood sector. On completion of the Certificate 3 in Early Childhood Education and Care, there are many employment opportunities. And at the moment, there are a vast number of um, jobs and opportunities for people to be working in the early childhood sector. Some of the employment opportunities include working in long day care services, so childcare centres, working in kindergartens as assistants, working in before and after school care programs, and also recreation and mobile care services. We have amazing facilities here at Box Hill Institute to enhance your learning, and they include our early childhood simulation rooms. At both our Box Hill and Lilydale campus, we have early childhood simulation rooms that are equipped with facilities and equipment to promote hands-on learning. We really value the importance of hands-on learning um, as working in the early childhood sector requires educators to be hands-on with the care and education that they're providing to children. The simulation rooms feature child-sized furniture and equipment to enable students to gain a realistic insight to the early childhood environment and the early childhood sector. We also have an amazing teaching team here at Box Hill Institute and our early childhood teaching team is comprised of trainers and assessors with a significant amount of experience working in the early childhood sector and delivering the early childhood qualifications at both the Certificate 3 and the Diploma levels. All of the trainers and assessors have a passion and a commitment to providing quality education and training to Box Hill Institute students and assisting them in developing the academic skills and knowledge, along with employability skills as part of the program. So 
So what's expected of you as a student in our partial completion program? We're looking for students um, to become early childhood educators and start on that journey. Um, but there's a few things that we need you to bring along to, to the course and the program. The first one being is an aptitude to work with children. So it's really important that students engaging in this program have a real passion and a desire to want to work with children and enjoy their company and enjoy being with them. We're also looking for students that have the have patience when working with others, have energy to engage with children, because this is certainly a, a program and a career path that's going to require you to be physically engaged with children, but also um, emotionally and, and always on the ball. Students will also have the need, the need to have the ability to be flexible to meet the needs of children and have the ability and maturity to take on responsibility. We're also looking for students that have the skills to be respectful to children, teachers, supervisors and colleagues, and have the ability to understand the importance of punctuality. And this includes with both their classwork and attending classes, and also whilst on work placement. We're also looking for students that have an aptitude to study. So we're looking for students that have a good level of digital literacy, we're looking for students that have the ability to time manage and meet due dates and deadlines. We're also looking for students that have effective communication skills. Working in early childhood requires a high level of, of communication skills, not only with children, but also with your colleagues, with families uh, and with other professionals. So um, effective communication skills are really important. We need students that are ready to commit to study and have proficient language literacy and numeracy skills. Some of the units that we will undertake as part of the program will require students to read through legislations and frameworks and curriculum. So it's really important that students are proficient with their language and literacy skills. And we're also looking for students have the ability to accept responsibility for their learning. The Certificate 3 in Early Childhood Education and Care Partial Completion is, is generally a two-year program, and in each year of the program, we deliver four units of competency. These units of competency are taken from the National Training Package. In Year 1, we cover four units, including Work Effectively in Children's Education and Care, which is an introductory unit to working in the early childhood sector. Participate in workplace health and safety because it's really important that students have an understanding of how to keep themselves safe in the workplace. We do a unit around working with diverse people and a unit around supporting inclusion and diversity. Also as part of the year one program, all students will be required to complete a minimum of 40 hours of SWL or work placement within a regulated early childhood education and care setting, as the, as the units that I've just outlined require us to assess students in a workplace. It is a mandatory requirement of the unit of competencies. These hours will be completed in terms three and four next year, and they will be completed on a Wednesday afternoon in lieu of coming to classes. In year two of the program, we move into four new units. We look at lead personal development. So that's a unit around being able to understand where you're at and developing goals and how to work towards achieving those goals. The next unit is around meeting legal and ethical obligations in children's education and care. Using an approved learning framework to guide practice. And we'll also be delivering provide first aid in an education and care setting. So this is a first aid qualification that also includes training around how to work with um, children with asthma and anaphylaxis. And again, in year two of the program, there will be a requirement to complete another 40 hours of SWL or work placement in a regulated early childhood education and care setting, as again, these units require us to assess you in the workplace. These hours again will be completed in terms three and four of the program in lieu of classes on Wednesday afternoons. On successful completion of this program, students will be eligible for a statement of attainment towards completion of the Certificate 3 in Early Childhood Education and Care. It will provide recognition of up to two units of credit at Units 1 and 2 and two Unit 3 and 4 sequences. 
and students who receive a Unit 3 and 4 sequence will be eligible for increment towards their ATAR, 10% of the average of the primary four scaled studies. Just some additional information around undertaking um, our Certificate 3 of Early Childhood Education and Care Partial Completion. So within the program, the students must undertake a minimum of 40 SWL hours to enable assessment to be completed in the workplace. If students do not complete SWL hours in a regulated early childhood education and care setting, then there will be units of competency that they will not be able to complete. It is the requirement of the school and the student to source a regulated early childhood education and care service to complete this requirement. We would recommend this to be undertaken in a long day care centre, so that way students have the ability to and opportunities to engage with children from birth through to six years of age. Students can complete their SWLs with children of any age between naught to six years. In 2024, students will complete the theoretical components of the course in terms one and two, and SWL hours will be completed in terms three and four on Wednesday afternoons. So where they would normally be attending classes from 1.30 to five, the students would um, be going out into a childcare centre to complete their placement or SWL hours. Box Hill Institute assessors will visit the students in the early childhood service to complete the practical assessment of the units being undertaken. Students cannot complete SWL hours at a service where their family members are employed. And it is important for students and schools to be aware of and meet due dates for the program requirements to be met. An overview of these dates and requirements will be provided to students and schools at the commencement of the program. That's the end of the presentation for today. Um, I look forward to seeing you at Box Hill Institute um, commencing your career in early childhood education and care. Thank you.